What is up you guys? So in this one, we're going to talk about the difference between deterministic versus random signals. This is the last lecture on signal classification. So no more signal A versus signal B as we did in previous lectures. This is the last one. And I hope that this lecture is going to be clear on what deterministic signals are and what random signals are. What's the difference between those two types of signals and why do we do such a classification? So without further ado, let's get started. So the last type of classification that we're going to talk about in this course on signal processing is deterministic versus random. So what do we mean by deterministic signals? Why do we mean by random signals and why do we care? Note that in signal processing, there's a lot of mathematical analysis going on, right? And this type of analysis requires us to describe the signals involved. So a mathematical description, which is often referred to as a signal model, is the basis of, of this classification, that is deterministic versus random signals. Now, any type of signal that can be uniquely described by an explicit mathematical expression, if I go ahead and say, oh, so my received signal, y of t, is probably something like cosine t plus some other, I don't know, beta sine t term. If I go ahead and write down this signal model, then I have uniquely described my signal through a mathematical expression, which well defines my signal y of t. And hence, this type of signal is called deterministic. Okay. Now, this term is actually used to emphasize the fact that all present, past and future values of the signal are known precisely without any uncertainty. Now, when you've got some uncertainty on your signal, right? When you just don't know or cannot write down your signal with 100% accuracy or confidence of what Y of T is, we refer to this type of signal as random. And what I mean by random is, well, let's say you've got this Y of T. Well, instead of receiving this Y of T, you're going to receive a Z of T that is your Y of T. So up till now, everything is deterministic. But when I go ahead and write down plus N of T, where N of T is some noise or Gaussian noise, then your signal is random. You cannot come ahead and say, oh, at time t, I know exactly what z of t is. No, you know the mean, maybe. You know some information about the variance of z of t, but you do not know precisely the value of z of t. In that case, the signal is referred to as random. And by the way, an example on random signals is, for example, an output of a noise generator, or maybe even speech signals. So for example, when you've got this speech signal in front of you, right? This speech signal, which sounds like this. You cannot predict what's coming after, right? So at time t equal one second, when I stand, let's say over here in time, or in this window right here, um, at any point here, I cannot know what's going to happen at t equal two or three, right? You cannot know exactly what the person is going to say. And hence, your signal is prone to some uncertainty. So your signal is random, right? Now, keep in mind that the mathematical framework for theoretical analysis of random signals is provided by the theory of probability and stochastic processes. Now we're going to talk about both concepts throughout this course. So whenever we have a random signal model framework, we're going to naturally approach this problem through tools from theory of probability and stochastic processes. 
However, we should emphasize at a point that the classification of real-world signals as deterministic or random is, up to today, not so clear. So this distinction between deterministic and random in real-life scenarios is not as really vague up to the point of today. And the reason why is that, you know, sometimes both approaches lead to meaningful results that provide more insight into signal behavior. Whereas at other times, the wrong classification may lead to very erroneous results, not because of the mathematics that you used throughout, you know, your work, but because of, you know, miss um, classifying your type of signal. So to be more concrete, some mathematical tools may apply only to deterministic signals, whereas others might only apply to random signals. Hopefully, we will make this more clear throughout this course. So that's all I have to say about the difference between deterministic and random signals. You might observe that my lectures up to this point are really short, but that's because we're classifying signals. So whether we touched upon multi-channel versus multi-dimensional signals or continuous versus discrete time signals or even continuous valued versus discrete valued signals, we're just doing a, you know, a classification of signals. So it is really interesting and important to keep in mind what signals you're processing. And that's it. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it beneficial. If you did, please leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions whatsoever, kindly leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Also, please consider donating to my Patreon account where I'll leave the link down in the description section below where you can contribute an amount as small as $3. Thank you so much and I'll see you in future lectures.